All right, Salim Rezaia here, and I want to talk about managing hypoxemia pre-intubation. Now, for me, this is pretty straightforward. Almost every patient I'm going to intubate, they get two things right off the bat. They get 15 liters per minute of nasal cannula, and they get flush rate non-rebreather. Now, I do this right at the very beginning as I'm getting all my RSI medications ready. This usually takes a few minutes, making sure suction is set up, making sure I have all my adjuncts, my plan A, B, and C. Now, when I look up at the monitor, I should hopefully have an O2 sat that's greater than or equal to 95%. If I've not achieved this with this much oxygen, two oxygen sources, then I need to start thinking about either a shunt or dead space physiology within the lungs. Now, a shunt would be things in the alveoli like fluids, purulent material from pulmonary edema or pneumonia. And then dead space would be things like pulmonary embolism. And the thing here is, is that more oxygen isn't going to fix this problem. What you should be thinking about is using something called PEEP. And the reason PEEP, positive end expiratory pressure, instead of more oxygen is we want to recruit atelectatic alveoli to help overcome this shunt or this dead space that's ongoing in the lungs. I've created this acronym for the patients that have shunt or dead space physiology based on resuscitate before you intubate. So first, you run O2 via nasal cannula. You switch over to a bag valve mask and you continue that flush rate oxygen that you had on your non-rebreather, except now you just attach it to the bag valve mask and then increase PEEP with a PEEP valve. And I'll usually turn this up to 10 or 15. This will help recruit atelectatic alveoli. And as far as I'm aware of, a bag valve mask with a good mass seal and a PEEP valve is going to be the best amount of PEEP that you can get to help recruit these alveoli. So that's how I manage pre-intubation hypoxemia. Let me know your thoughts and comments. I would love to hear any questions that you have. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time.